NASA has called off today's moon rocket launch. It's the second time this week the launch has been postponed. Technicians were unable to fix a fuel leak. The rocket was due to take to the skies from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida within hours. The next generation craft is the most powerful ever built by NASA. It was set to be the first launch for the agency's Artemis program, which aims to eventually return a human crew to the moon. Let's go now to Keith Cowing, the editor of SpaceRef.com. He joins us from Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us, Keith. Um, the launch has been postponed. What can you tell us about that? Well, this is the first time that this particular rocket has been launched, although it is built out of components that were in the space shuttle. So we can see some problems that may be familiar to some people. In this case, it had to do with a valve that connects to the rocket that sends liquid hydrogen in extremely cold temperatures. And because hydrogen is the smallest element there is, it can leak through almost anything. And the first time they tried this, they had problems the second and third. So again, today, when they tried to get everything to go together, it was a leak. They tried option A, option B, then option C was option A again, and they just could not get the rocket to load safely. So eventually they said, scrub for today. And, but, you know, to help us understand, are these kinds of teething problems typical for, for a completely new rocket? It's rocket science. I mean, it's probably on the second page of the rocket science book that fueling is a difficult issue and you have to do it right. Otherwise, you could have a very bad day, as they say. But um, it's not, not unexpected. The space shuttle had problems early on as well, as did the first Saturn V moon rocket. So eventually they'll figure out how to get this little disconnect valve to do the right thing at the right temperature. And then we'll hopefully launch the rocket. And Keith, if we could just get to the program itself, assuming, you know, takeoff occurs at some point, um, what makes this Artemis mission different from the last time Americans walked on the moon? That was, you know, 50 years ago, and I was around to see that. And uh, at that time, we were doing it, uh, you know, here in the States because we were at a global conflict with the Russians or the Soviets. And so we had a different mindset. We got there as fast as we could, and we uh, the risks that we took then we probably would not take now. So it's similar in the regard to you have a big rocket and a little capsule at the top. The difference is that this time we're going back, and it's although we keep saying it's an American mission, the uh, the service module is something Europe built. Uh, there are three mannequins inside, two are European. And although the first uh, astronauts to land will be American, shortly thereafter, there will be European and Canadian and Japanese astronauts. So we're going back in a sort of a global sense this time, not just a unilateral us versus the Soviets. So to me, that's important. And I guess one thing that has changed since uh, the glory days of Apollo 11 is that there's a private sector that is launching rockets. Uh, Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, has already sent up uh, powerful rockets much more cheaply. So my, my, my question is, um, you know, is, are there questions about why the government is, is financing, financing this? Well, Nick, this is interesting because, you know, the phrase that was then, this is now. Companies always built these rockets, at least here in the States. It's just that NASA really had a control over everything that was put together. Now, private companies have learned from half a century of NASA stuff. And some of these rich people have more money than some nation's space programs. And they just do this because they can. And uh, because of their successes, the way that Amer these Artemis astronauts will eventually land on the moon is in a modified SpaceX rocket, not a NASA lunar lander. And so we're already seeing sort of the transition here. And while NASA is having the problem of getting Artemis 1 to launch, SpaceX is building its Starship rockets so cheap that when they blow them up, they just roll out another and they put a blooper reel on TV. Now the real question is, if they delay... Uh, and Artemis until October. Will SpaceX launch their Starship first? That's what people are wondering. Okay, another kind of space race. Keith Cowing, editor of SpaceRest.com. Thanks for your time. My pleasure.